हेलो गाइस दिस इज सोनू एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेड ब्लड सेल और एरिथ्रोसाइट इन लास्ट टाइम डिस्कस अबाउट द ब्लड दैट वाज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द ब्लड दैट वाज द ब्लड्स एंड देयर कंपोनेंट्स सो टुडे फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रेड ब्लड सेल देन वी विल फर्दर मूव अदर कंपोनेंट अदर ब्लड कंपोनेंट्स एज वी नो दैट द रेड ब्लड सेल इज सेकंड मोस्ट लार्जेस्ट बॉडी फ्लूइड द फर्स्ट वन इज द प्लाज्मा एंड सेकंड वन इज द ब्लड आई मीन रेड ब्लड सेल एंड द लास्ट वन इज वेरी लेस इवन लेस देन द 1% दैट इज द ल्यूकोसाइट एंड द थ्रोम्बोसाइट्स or white blood cell or platelets so let's today we we'll discuss about the erythrocytes so first of all that erythrocyte the main function of the erythrocyte that is the transport of the gas the main function that is the from the lungs to the tissue it's transport the oxygen and the waste product is also the gas that is the carbon dioxide from tissue to the lungs and by the lungs it's exhaled and it's go out so let's write here that main function that is the transport gas o2 and co2 co2 is a waste product and the second one this is the maintain the ph our acid base balance so maintain ph level even in other blood component that is the plasma protein also maintain the ph level but but the red blood cell is the take part in a very potent maintain then uh, the other plasma protein so maintain the ph level and the transport o2 and gas i mean the oxygen and carbon dioxide because it's transport the hemoglobin because as we know that the rbc have hemoglobin and hemoglobin is maintain the we can say oxygen and the carbon dioxide because the hemoglobin transport the oxygen from the lungs to the tissue and then as a waste product it also bind the oxygen and from the tissue to the lungs it will uh, transport that's why we can say that the rbc transport hemoglobin and the hemoglobin transport oxygen and the carbon dioxide we will discuss everything in very details step by step so first of all that as we know that in the rbc don't have nucleus endoplasmic reticulum and other organelles why because the rbc is a taking main function of the transport the gaseous and due to the transport of the gas and oxygen it need the hemoglobin without hemoglobin is it not is it not possible that's why it's more and more hemoglobin need to keep inside the rbc due to this reason they don't have nucleus because nucleus will uh, take more space and if the nucleus will will be there so so the hemoglobin concentration will will in, uh, decrease and due to the decrease the hemoglobin concentration the adequate amount of the oxygen will not reach in the all over the body that's why so for example as we know that it's a biconcave shape so this is the rv shape rvc shape for example this is the rbc cell and inside the rbc this is the hemoglobin hemoglobin a lot of hemoglobin is there and then it's more and more hemoglobin is keeping the rbc and then traveling and the more and more oxygen will be transporting in the all over the body and as well as also it's uh, excreting the um, waste product that is the co2 from tissue to the lungs and then even the lungs will exhale the Uh, CO2. So this is the main function of the RBC. Now let's discuss about some morphological term and uh, the sizes of the RBC, the volume of the RBC, and everything. Because it for the clinical diagnosis is very important to know that if any patient will come and we don't know about the their problem and their their uh, we can say RBC quantities and every, everything about the blood report. that's why we should know at least the normal report or normal function or normal morphological uh, value of the rbc then we can suspect or we can diagnose the person have problem or not so first of all we should know we have to know that packed cell volume or hematocrit what is the packed cell volume or hematocrit next one the H, hemoglobin concentration we can represent hemoglobin by the hb the shortcut b then next one is the mean corpuscles volume what is the mean corpuscles volume it is the that in one rbc what what amount of the volume the uh, mean corpuscles uh, hemoglobin it is the that in one 
uh, RBC, whatever amount the uh, hemoglobin in one RBC, that is the hemoglobin. Then mean corpus of hemoglobin concentration means in a given RBC, whatever amount is the uh, what is the amount of the hemoglobin. And the last one that is the ESR or we can say waste green test because it's test. Uh, used by this tube, waste cream tube. That's when the uh, uh, other name is the waste cream tube. So erythrocyte sedimentation rate. The name is the ESR. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate. So this all term we should know. Then we can finally diagnosis or we can know that how the person is uh, normal conditions the blood um, report or the abnormal conditions or it's a decrease or increase. So let's first discuss about the. Actual volume or hematocrit. So from here you can understand that this is the blood. So let's this is the all is the hundred ml of the blood. Out of the hundred ml. So out of the hundred ml, the forty five percent of the blood is the red blood cell. So, or we can say 45 ml of the blood is the red blood cell. So, out of the 100 ml, out of 100 ml, the 45 ml is RBC. So, we can say that 45 percent, this is the fact of the RBC. So, we can say the 45 ml is the fat cell volume or hematocrit. So, whatever amount of the blood we take from the person and we centrify it. And after the centrifugation, the for example, if we take one ml of the blood or hundred ml, for example, just take one ml of the blood. So one ml of the blood we centrifuge, and after the centrifugation, as we know that the 40 uh, 40 percent of the blood component it is the RBC, either it 10 ml or either it will 100 ml, it doesn't matter. So out of the out of the for example 20 ml, the 40 percent of the blood is RBC. The same here, one ml of the blood out of the one ml, the 45 uh, percent of the blood is RBC, so uh, 0.45 ml is the RBC. So in out of the 1 ml, 0.45 ml, it is the RBC. Or we can say packed RBC, because this RBC is a packed to the each other. Like that, you can see, uh, this is the packed in the tube. So, or it accumulate in the particular tube. So, the 0.45 ml, it is the packed cell volume, or other name, or we can say synonym name, that is the hematocrit. So what is the hematocrit value? 0. Point, or we can say 0. 0.45 ml up to 1 ml in the 1 ml or we should write in the 1 ml out of 1 ml so this is the paxel volume next term that is the hemoglobin hemoglobin Whatever whatever amount of the RBC, whatever amount of the RBC in the that amount one third of the hemoglobin. So for example, in hundred ml, the forty five ml. So forty five ml, forty five ml is the RBC. So out of the forty five ml, one third is the hemoglobin. So one third is hemoglobin. So we can divide forty five by three. This is a 15. So we can say 15% is the hemoglobin. But this uh, hemoglobin we uh, measure in the gram. So 15 gram. So out of the uh, 45 ml of the blood, the 15 gram or 15% is the hemoglobin. So the normal value is the 15 gram or we can uh, right in a percentage in a man is the 15 percent but in a, a woman is the 14 percent so slightly uh, decrease this is the for male and for female that is the 40 percent next one is the main corpuscles volume what is the main corpuscles volume as i said that this is the volume in the each RBC means one RBC. So, for example, this is a lot of RBC. You can see this is a lot of RBC. 
so what is the volume in one rbc this rbc so let's calculate about the but before the calculate one uh, thing i have to mention that as i said that the you know 0.45 or 45 uh, ml of the blood out of the 100 ml this is the packed cell volume and in the 1 ml one uh, we can say 1 ml of the blood so in 1 ml in 1 ml of blood what is the red cell count red cell count so in a 1 ml of the blood what is the red cell count in the 1 ml of the blood the red cell count is the 5 million 5 million approximately it slightly decrease and increase is depend upon the male and female and baby but in adult person is the 5 million of the blood approximately in a 1 ml i mean 1 ml of the blood the red cell count if you count the red cell that will how many red cell is the, is there so 5 million red cell is there 5 million red cell in 1 ml of rbc in 1 ml of the red blood cell or erythrocytes 5 million red cell count count of the red cell if we will count then 5 million red cell count is there now will from there we can uh, calculate the mean corpuscles volume mean corpuscles volume for the calculation mean corpuscles volume we need red cell count and the amount of uh, the packed cell volume hematocrit so packed cell volume by 5 million we can write like that 5 million if you calculate this value so how much 0.45 ml by uh 5 million it will be 90 into 10 to the power 15 by liter but it is very uh, we can say um, difficult to remember or difficult to calculate that's why in short way we can say 90 femtometer femtometer it's a, if you talk about the 100 ml so uh, 45 ml femtometer so now we can know that what is the uh, mean corpuscles volume this is the volume of one rbc that is the 90 femtometer so we can write here 90 femtometer how how will uh, get from the packed cell volume upon the red cell count red cell count so as we know that packed cell volume is the 45 ml or if you if you are calculating from the out of the 100 ml so 45 ml is the red blood cell and 5 million is the red cell count so by if you cal uh, uh, calculate this diagnosis i mean this value so you will get 19 to 10 to the power 15 per liter so but it short way we uh, we wrote 90 femtometer because it convert the value femtometer that's why this all 10 to the 10 to the power minus 15 this by the liter this value is shortcut way uh, we wrote femto uh, femto liter so the mac, uh, main corpuscles volume is the 90 femto meter so we get at uh, homeoglobin concentration that is a 15 g we get main corpuscles volume about the homeoglobin in the 1 g of the homeoglobin the 1.3 ml oxygen can be bind so we add some information 1 g of homoglobin 1.3 ml of oxygen can be bind so so we can say that in 100 ml of blood 20 ml oxygen can be bind why because if you multiply from 15 into 1.3 it will be 
20.1 or approximately we can calculate that 20. 15 from where it's come? As we know that 15 gram of the hemoglobin in the out of 100 of the blood M means 100 ml of blood if you take out of the 100 ml we know that 15 ml blood is the RBC and the hemoglobin present in within the RBC not in other cells so 15 ml of the RBC uh, in the RBC present uh, hemoglobin and as we know that hemoglobin is a one third of the RBC so if you calculate the 45 by 3 it will be 15 percent so 15 percent or 15 gram RBC in 100 ml of the blood so 100 ml of the blood and 1 gram of the uh, hemoglobin 1.3 ml oxygen carry it can carry 1.3 ml of the oxygen so 100 ml of the blood can carry 20 ml how because the 100 ml of the blood out of the 15 ml of the rbc and out of the 50 ml of the rbc i mean sorry 45 ml of the rbc it will be the 15 percent or 15 gram of the hemoglobin so 15 into 1.34 it will be 20.1 or 20 approximately we can say that 20 uh, 100 ml of the blood 20 percent ml oxygen can be carried so this information about the hemoglobin now let's further about uh, that is the mean corpuscles hemoglobin mean corpuscles hemoglobin for this calculation we need first the concentration of the hemoglobin plus the red cell count red cell count so we have value that 15 upon 5 million 5 million 15 is the hemoglobin and the red cell count as we know that it's a 5 million so it will be calculate so 30 picometer the value is picometer so if you calculate the 30 picometer you, you will get so in the one rbc each rbc 30 picometer is the oxygen i mean the hemoglobin because the mean corpuscle hemoglobin is the every RBC what amount of the hemoglobin so in every RBC 30 picometer of the hemoglobin another one that is the mean corpuscles hemoglobin concentration what is the mean corpuscles hemoglobin concentration mean corpuscles hemoglobin concentration means the given RBC whatever amount is the given RBC what is the uh, on that RBC of uh, hemoglobin value so for example if given rbc is 100 100 ml so in the 100 ml what amount of the rbc that is the hemoglobin concentration so for this we need total hemoglobin upon total blood volume so total hemoglobin how much 15 and the total volume total blood volume note they said that one blood volume what blood volume is the mean corpuscles volume that is the 90 femtometer total blood volume means the total packed volume packed cell volume it is the 45 ml so if you calculate this thing it will you will get 33 percent 33 percent so this is the uh, mean corpuscles as we i mean hemoglobin concentration now we'll separate right that how uh, what is the percentage First of all, about the hematocrit, 45 out of the 100, uh, 15 gram out of the 45, 90 femtometer, it is the 30 picometer, then it is the 33 percent. So this value we get from the blood analysis. For example, if any person or any patient come and with the report, and you seeing you see the that report is that the written value is there so if you know this the normal value 
then you can suspect the person is healthy anemic or it may be polycythemia or maybe other other disease from there you you can suspect so let's first of all uh, before the diagnosis one thing you have to know that as we know that the rbc is the biconcave shape the size of the this shape 7.8 to 8 micrometer the shape of the so the size of rbc is 7.8 to 8 micrometer this is the uh, size of the rbc so this is the biconcave shape and here is the hemoglobin now you, you can see that this area is the more wide wider than the between that is the middle area so rbc is the more in a this area then the in the central area this is the for example this is the central let's make that this is the biconcave this is the middle area is the slightly we can say uh, thick and this area is the more gapping more uh, um, wide area as compared to the middle area that's why the more rbc in a uh, this a peripheral area than the central area that's why if you see the rbc normal rbc in the microscope or any magnification then you can see that in a central area is the slightly pale as compared to the peripheral area of the rbc uh, i mean rbc red blood cell in one rbc let this is the center so this is the spherical shape as we know that rbc is a spherical shape so in this shape by the any magnification by the light microscope doesn't matter in any magnification you see that in this central area is a slightly pale why pale because this bicon due to the biconcave shape the uh, this area is the wider than the middle area that's why the hemoglobin is more is the peripheral area than the central area that's why this area is the more uh, red, uh, red and peripheral area and the central area is the pale and one thing also that why the red blood cell is the red due to the hemoglobin because of the hemoglobin it's red that's why this uh, the peripheral area is the red and the slightly pale in the central area but this is the normal or we can say within the physiological limit or physiological function or physiological looking like the rbc like that <coughs> now we can say Uh, that how we will diagnosis of the rbc report so for example we have this this chart the person has packed cell volume 45 percent 15 gram uh, hemoglobin concentration uh, the mean corpuscles volume 90 femtometer mean corpuscles hemoglobin concentration 30 picometer and the mean corpuscles hemoglobin concentration that is the 33 percent if the this value will be decrease so we can say that uh, let's make again rbc this is the normocyte so we can say if the normal color normal shape and size so we can say normocyte means the normal cell and normochromic chromic means the color so normal color of the rbc so we can say normocytic and normochromic so if this value will be there and by the magnification if you see the color is the normal means the in the central is the pale and the peripheral is the uh, red so we can say that is the normochromic and this is the normocytic because the value is the normal but if you see that the in the peripheral area is the very dark color means the very or uh, dark reddish or in the central is the very pale so now you can suspect that is the hyperchromic because it's a very dark so like that you can so hyperchromic is the not normal condition it's a pathological condition in other side the normal static cell if you see that increase the packed cell volume so it may it may be 45 to the it may be 60 increase the concentration of the homoglobin increase the packed cell uh, mean corpuscles volume increase the mean corpuscles homoglobin 
so so you can suspect that it has not normocytic it's a uh, microcytic micro means the i mean macrocytic sorry so macrocytic macro means big macrocytic but if this value will be decrease so now you can see that is the microcytic not macro Mac microcytic means the cell become decreased because the value is decreased that's why we we have to know the normal value ab about this uh, all component so microcytic if increase this value if decrease this value mm, macrocytic in the other side if increase the color very dark color so we can say hyperchromic hyperchromic chromic means the color any color will even uh, very less uh, red so is depend upon the um, person that uh, from which uh, types of pathology they suffering so if any pathology or if any uh, other we can say pathological conditions and by those conditions the color become less so we can say hypochromic hypochromic so this all macrocytic anemia microcytic anemia hyperchromic anemia and hypochromic anemia this is the all is the uh, anemic condition or we can say the, this is the pathological condition of the rbc so now you can understand that how we can identify if we know this value then we can suspect or we can even say that the person suffering from this types of problem the value is if increase so we can say that the person has macrocytic anemia if decrease microcytic anemia if the color is the very high very dark so hyperchromic if, if not dark very less than the normal so uh, hypochromic so these are the main information about the red blood cell last one that is the esr erythrocytes sedimentation cell rate or west green test what is this let's discuss about this uh, actually this uh, the, this is the test of the rbc means during the any inflammation first because it's non specific or i mean non in, uh, expensive it's not very expensive that's why the doctor first uh, try to do this test so uh, erythro sedimentation rate erythro sedimentation rate what is this first of all erythrocyte it is the we can say the setting of the rbc within the one hour like that we can very easy to understand or for example you take uh, one ml of one ml of the blood but uh, for the laboratory test of the esr we need approximately six to seven uh, ml of the blood so let's take six ml of the blood six ml of the blood we take six ml of the blood from the any person or any patient this is the tube because this tube is a very thin that's why name is the waste green tube this is the tube and we put blood six ml of blood we put there this is the all blood let's put this blood and as we know that blood is divided into three part plasma and wbc and uh, finally rbc so in a one hour during this test we we'll take six ml of the blood, and this blood will inject or put in the tube that is the waste green tube. The name of the waste green tube. That's why the name is the also waste green test. And this tube put in the there. Uh, I mean any area. And after one hour, we have to wait one hour. During one hour, after one hour, we have to uh, after the uh, one hour, we have to see that in. What amount of the RBC it are sit in the last part of the tube, or we can say accumulate of the last part of the tube? That is the ESR. So, for example, this is the RBC, and this all this all is the plasma. Plasma, and the normal ESR rate. ESR rate is the 50 to 20 millimole per liter per hour. It's for the male.
for the 20 to 30 per hour mm per hour for the woman so this is the normal value but it can be changed is depend upon the age if the like for the 80, 80 years old person it's very high and uh, in some time this uh, value is less than 15 percent less than 20 percent but this is the approx value so during the hour for example 15 to 20 millimole per liter in the one hour it's accumulate so we can say this is the esr rate is a normal but during the any inflammation for example the person suffering from any inflammation any fever or any other uh, conditions maybe anemic conditions or uh, maybe during the pregnancy or maybe hemolytic anemia and any types of anemia on the time what we see that if less than this value or we can say increase the value of the esr so it's this this area this uh, for example this is the marking area this is the normal value normal uh, esr value but during the pathology it will be very fastly it will go here very fastly it will go here during the one hour so we can say that this is the increase the esr so it's very fastly accumulating or very fastly sitting in the last part of the tube means it's increasing the esr so erythros erythro sedimentation rate is the very high because very fast it sits during the one hour so th this is the esr so in this condition we can say that esr is the high why because due to the inflammation due to the less blood in the body because anemic condition anemia is the absence of the rbc so due to the less rbc it's very fast accumulate or very fast uh, sit in or we can say just like a coagulate in the last part of the tube and due to this reason we can say increase the erythrocyte so it's depend upon the uh, sitting of the rbc or we can say settling of the rbc inside the tube the, uh, if the very fast uh, sit uh, we can say increase the esr if very slow sit we can say decrease the esr so this is the normal value of the ESR, but in which condition it can be decreased. For example, in a polycythemia, polycythemia means the excessive RBC. On the time, it's very, uh, very slowly sick because uh, due to high excessive of the RBC. Or we can say hyperviscosity. The viscous of the blood is very high. Like that, inflammation, like that, pathological conditions can be decreased the uh, ESR. But mostly increase the ESR because these types of inflammation, anemia, in uh, or some other uh, inflammation is the very we can say very oftenly uh, the the person get these types of inflammation that's why ESR only high now we'll discuss that how it's accumulate what is the main mechanism of the accumulation I mean the fast uh, sedimentation fast settling why Let's make RBC. So, for example, this is the RBC. This is the RBC, and in the RBC surface of the RBC, this is the negative charge there. This is the negative charge. Negative charge is there. That's why in the normal RBC, not will be accumulate or not will be. Uh, we can say. Uh, each RBC will be accumulating to each other like that. This, this is the formation of the RBC. So during the normal condition, this is the pathological condition. So during the normal RBC or healthy RBC will not attract attract to each other due to the positive uh, negative charge. So every RBC, rather we should first make the normal RBC. the rbc this is the rbc and the rbc the surface of the rbc has negative charge and as we know that negative negative charges that repel each other so due to the negative charge this negative charge is known as zeta potential zeta potential so this zeta potential to protect to uh, accumulate to each other or we can say obstruct to the each other 
it will not attract to each other due to the negative charging but during the inflammation during the any inflammation as we know that during the inflammation a lot of protein is come from the our body to the protect or to the uh, other functions the same protein also come from the uh, like along with the, a lot of protein that is the fibrinogen which release from the liver so for example this is the liver and the liver it's come fibrinogen fibrinogen and this fibrinogen is, it, ha it has positive charge so th whenever the fibrinogen will come here for example this is the fibrinogen so this fibrinogen will attract to the negative charge and then it it will be the attract to each, each other because the positive charge and the negative charge will not repel it will be attract negative negative charge will be repel that's why it will not uh, we can say uh, attract to each other so whenever fibrinogen will come in the blood um, rbc surface area and this is the positive charge so this will be attract to each other and the clumping of the rbc now we can say the clumping of the rbc because rbc will be accumulate or stuck each other and now look like the rbc if you see in the during the uh, blood analysis who has increased esr rate so for example this is the slide and now you can say that like that a struck in rbc if if those person who have increased the esr rate if you see in the laboratory diagnosis in a slide in a microscope like that you can see this is the um striking of the rbc and this special name this special name is the rolex formation rolex formation this name is the rolex formation so if the increase esr it means that formation name is the uh, rolex formation and this formation look like that because they are striking to each other due to the fibrinogen can in the rbc surface and neutralize the charge and uh, rather not uh, neutralize we can say attract to the each other because positive and negative charge will be attract so it is striking to each other clumping to each other and like that will be happening that's why in the esr rate very fastly it will be uh, sit in the or we can say accumulate in the last part of the tube due to the because of the a lot of fibrinogen will come and a lot of uh, uh, positive charge will come and positive negative will just uh, stuck to each other and very fastly it will be um, we can say sit in the last part of the tube that tube name is the west cream tube so this all information about the rbc and by this information now we can uh, say that if uh, if no uh, this types of um, i mean the value of the this rbc so we can diagnosis or we can diagnose that the person is the normal condition abnormal condition like anemic condition or whatever so i hope you will understand and you will you, you will like about the rbc discussion in next part the that is the rbc uh, we discuss about that how the oxygen bind the we can say in the hemoglobin and how it will be carry what, what is the main component of the hemoglobin that is the biochemistry of the rbc so till then take care and next time we will we'll try to discuss very fast thank you so much